All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. So we are hanging out in the backwaters, fishing some docks with my buddy Nick here. Nick, say what's up. What's up guys? We are gonna throw shrimp and uh, pilchards. So check this out. We grabbed some shrimp at the, uh, at the bait shop this morning. They're hanging out, uh, tucked in that corner. And then we got a ton of pilchards that we just cast netted. So we are locked and loaded. Our goal for today is to maybe catch some big sheep's head, mangrove, snook. You could even get redfish, maybe a little grouper. Get a lot of cool things fishing um, docks just like this. So we're gonna use little circle hooks or little J hooks. I'm sorry, little J hooks, light leader, light tackle, and fish for whatever bites is most important. So stay tuned, guys. Um, we are on the Tarpon Boat Works. You guys can see here, Tarpon Boat Works, Tarpon Bay 19. Shout out to them. But uh, we're gonna catch some fish, so let's hop right into it. All right, I'm gonna start off with a shrimp. Ooh, I'm gonna start off with a shrimp for right now. Nick is gonna start off with a pilchard and work his stalks. So I'm gonna rig, I like rigging shrimp kind of through the tail just like that. This is just a 1 OJ hook. That'll be solid for a lot of different species. Kind of can cover a good range of them. Could get a snook on that size hook, no problem. Could also get a mangrove, sheep's head. So we'll see here, we're just gonna flip these docks. You guys can see there's oysters all over them. Good structure for fish and just flip them, flip them, flip them till we start finding something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are they decent sized ones or all little? Uh, we'll see, I'll let my shrimp drop down there. See, maybe a big one will sink, eat the shrimp. He ate a pilchard, right? Wow, that's surprising. It's a new Fenwick rod, really nice, really, really nice rods. Uh, what is this, eight to 20 pound? Very good light rod for flipping light baits just like this, which is, shrimp, shrimp are very hard to flip, but. Oh, oh, I got eaten when it got down to the bottom and I hook set, I shouldn't have done that. You think it was a sheep? It started to run off with it quietly, so it probably was a sheep. Are they down there? Oh my gosh, look how many there are right there. There's some, ready? Oh, look at him come up to the surface here. Oh, I got that one. Look at them all. Oh, he came off. Top water, look at him. Well, those are all mangrove snapper right there under the dock. You guys can see they're all pretty tiny. They're, they are like piranhas. <laughs> They're absolutely blasting the shrimp, but our goal is to get some keeper mangroves, which keeper mangroves, 10 inch. So we're just gonna pass up on those guys, keep on flipping here, maybe find some bigger ones. Drop him up on the wall there. Look at that 20 inch mangrove. Mm, he's getting hit already. Got one. So tiny though. They're all the same size. Yeah, they are. The yeah, we gotta find the big ones. This is my first mangrove of the day here. A little eight incher. It's a pretty common, ooh, pretty common size, but we they need to find them a much. few inches bigger. Yeah, they're whacking everything that hits the water. They're like piranhas. That is a mangrove. Really pretty fish, but too small. Dude, they're on fire. How do you pick out the big ones? There's just so many mangrove snapper in here. It's unreal. Yeah, look at them fired up around. Oh, there's actually a decent one right there under it. Oh, that's a keeper one. Yep, yep, yep. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Smart. Smart. That's a keeper one. He, he got it. <clears throat> got him. Oh, he's close. Oh, oh. God. That's harsh. I think that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, a keeper. That's a, that's a keeper. Perfect. Sight fishing the keepers. It's They're so smart, man. It's like... That's a good one, too. It's like I saw him come up on it and I was like, ah, oh, that's a keeper for sure. That's a fat one. That is a fat mangrove. Really good eating fish. So right here, here, let me steer us away from the shoreline a little bit. It took a little bit of a little bit of trick. We caught three or four now, but they are absolutely like piranhas. That's a good sized one too. All right, so they gotta be 10 inches to keep. This guy is, this guy's definitely over 10. He's actually a little over 11. So go ahead and unhook him here. I usually don't like to keep them when they're like right on the dot keeper, just in case of anything. But he's an inch over and he's gonna go on ice. All right, one snapper down. I'll go ahead and grab another one of these shrimp. They're not very big, but I think they're normally like that in the summer times on the smaller size. But just like that, they are eating the pilchards just as well are just as good as the shrimp. Something cool. Surprised they were all on the seawall. Yeah, I know. That's like where they live. 
I guess. I don't know. Should be everywhere. Oh, that's something big. Big, big snapper. Nice snapper. I don't know if he's keeper, but he tried to get me into the tried to get me into the pilings there. He looks like he's probably an inch short. Mm, actually. The other one was 11. This one might be 10. Oof. Pin him down. Absolutely smoked that shrimp. He tried to get me into the pilings before I even realized he thumped it. Throw him on the measuring tape. Zero. Mm, he's like right on the dot. I'm going to go ahead and release him because I think we can get some bigger ones today. Get some 11, 12 inches. Pop that. Back in the water. All right, after catching two decent mangroves, or three now, I'm going to switch over to a pilchard. Nick has been throwing pilchards for the past uh, 15 minutes now, and uh, he's gotten eaten a lot, but the small ones like to steal the pilchards the second it hits the water. Yeah, we need a snook too. It is a snook, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh! oh did he break you? He did. He broke, he prayed me. Oh my god. Oh. Fish and light leader for the mangroves. Dang. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be a stud mangrove. He ate the pilchard. Alright, retie. Or I don't really need to retie. He frayed me right at the hook. Oh, you got him? Is that the big one? Yeah. It is the big one? Oh, he's keeper. That one's keeper. I think so. Here, swing him up. Oh! Yeah, he's keeper. He's definitely the fattest one since the one I caught this morning. It will absolutely bite your finger off. Let me see. He's going. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, he's almost 11. He is pretty much 11. We'll keep him. Nice. That might have been the one I saw come up on the bait. Mangrove number two. This were the best docks though, right here, these four. Were they? Yeah. Where we saw the biggest sheeps and snook. I just thought they'd be bigger in here. Mm, there's some big right there. Big snook, big snook. You see them? Yeah. A couple. There's like three. Yeah, big school of them. Be ready with your drag. Yep, he ate it. No? Oh. Look like he ate it. Yep. Oh, we got it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, <laughs> yes, baby. sir. Hold him tight, hold him tight. That's actually a good snook. Oh, get him, get him. Oh, no. Lock that drag lock. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. You got him right here. Yep, yep, yep. He's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. Nice. Just watch the trolling motor. Yeah, you got him right here. Nice fish, Nick. That was sick. What did I tell you? I was like, these dogs are usually decent ones. It's like eight snook under it. Sick, Nick. You got him, you got him, you got him. Tighten up. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a nice fish around structure for, well, I guess you're using like, what, a 3,000? 4,000. That's a nice fish. Get him! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice job. If it was season, he'd be coming home. Ooh! That a boy! That was sick. He absolutely smoked that pilchard. He came up in this little slurp diet on top, just mm -hmm. so subtly. That a boy. Well, that's probably 28. He's probably right on slot. He might even be 29. Great job. That was, that was pretty good. Right <laughs> On those little tiny pilchers. I watched him. It looked like one of them swam up and ate it. Swam up and ate it, and then I guess he didn't. And the other one came up and ate it. On that tiny little hook right there. Let me see how tiny. That's light tackle fishing. We're mangrove snapper fishing. You got a nice snook. That's exactly why we use those one-os. Because it can kind of cover a wide range of things. Oh, that is the first, you know, good fish of the day. We caught two keeper mangroves, but... They're 
Well, just not as exciting as that. That badness with that snook racing around the boat, trying to get up in the docks. I mean, he did perfect there. Those yeah, docks are covered. He, way up in there, he did have so. you way up in there. I was a little scared. I was ready for that break off. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we've been fishing docks now for about 30 minutes, and I just decided to switch over to a little jig head, eighth ounce, with my shrimp here. Um, I think a lot of these bigger mangroves are sitting close to the bottom, and the little ones are grabbing the uh, shrimp and pilchards the second second they hit the water. So I think a jig head will do a little bit better, and I think that'll help me find some bigger fish. So let's try it. Remote control, the wind is always blowing you. In. Oh, you get him? Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's the biggest one of the day. Yes, sir found one Nick found one He's on it. yep you should have just eaten it did you get it oh nice Big one. that's a nice one that's a nice one you gotta swing him oh dang boy Let's go. sight fished him on the wall that's what I'm talking about Nick Oh, the hook just came out too. You're lucky, boy. I knew that was not the one I saw, unless his stripes were so much smaller. Some kids prefer sight fishing snook off the wall. <laughs> sight fishing sheep. There we go. What do you think he is? 14, 15? Yep. Probably 15 incher. Load him up. We. In just a second, we're gonna start to get. Um, we're gonna put some, make, cool. Yeah, sight fishing <laughs> sheep's head is fun. All right, we got on a little thread fin here. Had a couple of those. We're gonna try to get one more fish to end off the day. It is 12 o'clock. Hey. Oh, you're talking to the camera? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna catch one, I swear. They were just under here. Ah. <sighs> Oh, jeez, there's so many. This is a keeper too, dude. Dude, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice river one right there. It's funny how there's nothing on a dock and then there's 20 of them on one dock. That's a fat one too. He's a 12 incher. Yeah. Yeah, a, yeah, that's a 12 incher. That's the biggest one of the day right there, I think. That's the nicest one of the day. Dang, Nick. Nicest mangs of my life. Nicest mangs of my life and your life. In the cooler. Got some good fish in there. All right, cut it. There's a bunch right under this dock right here. Pitch the pilchard back in there. Let's see. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that a mangrove? Oh, they're jacks. Dang, we fired up the jacks. <laughs> I think they're on the pilchards fire. I got the jacks in there. Look at all the mangroves. <laughs> all, those are mangroves. Yeah. All of those are mangroves. They're chewing. Oh, <laughs> <my baby. laughs> I'm laughing. I'm trying to. Ow! Oh. Chewing. Show them until they're dumb. Let me get one. Let me get another one. Ow. They're popping up under there. Yeah, they are. Look at him, look at him, look at him all over it. The yeah, I know, I see him. They're getting smart. Maybe I should beat him up a little. Nah, shouldn't matter. Dang, look at him all over it. Got that one. Maybe? Yeah, he looks keeper. Oh, yeah. oh! <laughs> smoking him. Dude, mangroves are so much fun. Dude, They're fired up under there. That's another 12 incher. Fired up. I'll drop them in the water. Oh my gosh. I'm having more fun chumming than I am fishing. <laughs> Smoking them. All right, guys, so we are wrapping up today. Uh, knocked out some good fish. Check it out. We have 
we had five mangroves, all ranging from like 11 to 12 inches. That's kind of the common size. These guys were the two last ones I pulled out at the end there, and they are solid fish. And then Nick knocked out this 15 inch sheep's head. So we were able to do a few things today on uh, pilchards and uh, live shrimp, which is always a lot of fun because you just don't know what you'll catch. You can catch jacks and all sorts of little things in the docks. You are even caught a nice snook. I'm forgetting about the snook. Knocked out some meat, knocked out some good fish, and had a fun day. So. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I think that is it. Check out the merch, link in the description. And uh, it is like a thousand degrees. Time Let's to go home. Let's get to the AC. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in that next video.